Hey everybody, how you doing today? It's Steve on the Guru Brew. I'm doing a follow-up video today of my digital TV antenna that I put up. If you missed the first one, you can click the link up here and watch that first. I originally tried a digital TV antenna like this, and these are advertised all over the place and seen on TV. It's a little antenna that you stick in the window with these suction cups. You plug it into your TV and you're supposed to get digital cable. Well, I tried this and it did not work. It didn't get not one channel. And it made me lose all hope of getting free digital TV is what I wanted, my local channel, so I could do away with my cable company. Anyway, I thought I was just too far away. And eventually I picked up another antenna just recently that cost $20 at Big Lots, a different type. And that's the other video that you can watch. And I got uh, free TV, digital cable for the first time using it. And I put it in my building as a test, my shop here. I tried it out. So anyway, what this video is gonna be is taking the antenna that works and trying it in different locations here at my shop. I'm gonna try it in the window, in the attic, and outside, and compare signals and see what the best mounting location. And so you'll see the conclusion of what that will be in this follow-up. So anyway, let's go ahead and get started with our quest for free digital TV and the ultimate firing of my crooked cable company that's coming. <laughs> Before testing, I wanted to add on additional cable. The signal that moves the antenna through that little white box up there gets sent directly through the coax cable and I wanted to make sure that it could travel through more cable because if I put it in the attic or on the roof I would need more cable. So that's an additional 50 foot and I just used a female to female adapter and added it to the existing cable. So I've got 50 foot there that we're gonna be testing with and I'll leave it on for all these tests. This is the connector that I used to hook the two pieces of coax together. It's just a female to female connector. Okay, for test number one, we're using the window on ground level, going through glass and a small blind. Let's see how many signals we get. For all the tests, I'll be using the same procedure. I am at the auto scan function on the television. So let's go ahead and start scanning and see how many we get out the window. So it's near completion. Looks like we have about 15 channels. So that's going to be hard to beat, and that's through the window. But uh, I'm not real happy with that because I don't want to point my antenna out the window. But it's nice to know and it's a good baseline. So 15 channels through the window. Let's continue on. Here you can see how I temporarily mounted this for outside testing on the porch. Okay, we have the antenna outside. We're going to go ahead and run another auto scan and see how many we get with this. Let's go. So this test is just about over. You can see I've doubled. I've got 31 digital channels. Wow. And that's not moving the antenna at all. That's just leaving it in the same position. So 31 outside, that's going to be tough to beat. Yep, looks like 31 is going to be the final number for that. Wow, that's, that's really great. Okay, we have the antenna mounted in our attic. We're about four to five stories high, and it will be going through slate roof. So it's pretty high. Let's go ahead and check how many channels we get. Okay, so we have the antenna in the attic. I'm going to go ahead and do a channel search now and see how many we get with it like that. Now, I've been positioning the antenna the same direction every time. So let's do an auto scan and see how many we get. So it looks like we're going to get about 14 channels through the roof tile, through the slate, 
and if you had shingles it might be a little better but still the outside is so much better with 31 so it looks like this antenna is going to have to go outside I've got some ideas for that I'll show you so yeah 14 channels all right good enough so as expected you know outside winds of course I'm getting a lot more channels almost double than through the roof or through the window and so I plan on mounting this t outside to one of the masts of the old um, direct PC dish that we've got out there. And so what I'm going to do is this thing isn't holding together very good. You can see these elements. I was corrected last time I called these fins. Thank you. Um, these elements fall off quite easily. So I'm taking some hot glue and just going along here and hot gluing everything. And it might make it last a while. Now, if this thing breaks, you know, I'll just get another one. I mean, if this $20 one is working as good as it is, just imagine what a more expensive one will do. So we'll try it out for a while like that. And like I said, I plan on mounting this to an old satellite dish that I have out there. And, uh, yeah, it should last a while. I don't know. The wind's been pretty strong here. So I'm going to go ahead and finish this, and then we'll get it up on the roof. Sounds like a plan. In these clips, you can see that I'm installing the digital antenna on an old pole for a digital uh, internet service that we used to have. If you guys remember Direct PC, it came out as an alternative for broadband back when AOL was around, and we had it for a short time. Anyway, I'm going to modify this antenna slightly and put it on that same pole, so that's what you're seeing here and we get it up there with some modifications okay I'm a little out of breath I've been running around the building we're gonna do a channel scan the antenna is mounted where we want it and it's pointed in the same direction that our other tests were so let's do the scan now the antenna is a little bit higher so I'm hoping for at least 31 or more. It's very cloudy and windy and rainy out right now, so I don't know if that'll affect it or not, but let's just wait and see here. Well, it looks like we're getting about 35 channels, I'm guessing, and I'm extra excited about that. That's four more than I got just off the porch. So the height helped me a little. And, you know, it might even be better once I tune in the uh, position. Uh, we just roughly turn in the, um, you know, where it's pointed. So that's pretty awesome. 35 channels for free. Hey, I'll take it. Let's go out for some final thoughts. So I hope that you enjoyed those results and can use them in your own place. If you've gotten an antenna like this in the past, um, think twice about trying a different type. This almost made me give up completely, and if you're about 40 miles away, you should be able to pick up digital TV. And although the antenna that I put out there is cheap and I don't expect it to last very long, I hot glued it together and it should last a while, and when it blows down or breaks, I'll just buy a better, nicer one and put it up. And I know it will work. If that one works, certainly something of better quality should work just fine. So anyway, I encourage you to go out and get your own digital antenna and start uh, getting free channels and fire that cable company. They deserve it. We'll see you on the next one. Leave your thoughts and comments below. Thumbs up. We'll see you. Bye for now.